Good morning, hello, hello, welcome. It's time for another Copy and Cards. It's Tuesday morning. My name is Kate Bolt. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in the UK and I'm really happy to be bringing you Copy and Cards again today. I hope it finds you well. I'll just wait a few uh, seconds to see if anyone jumps on. If you are joining me, welcome. And please let me know you're here. Perhaps pop a little comment, that would be great. And then I'll know you're watching. I haven't got my laptop set up, so let me know you're here. Let me just sort that little pop-up out. Hi, Jen, good morning. I'm hoping I'm live on my page because uh, I haven't got my laptop set up to check. I have my coffee. Can't have coffee and cards without coffee. I've got my Mickey Mouse mug. Morning, Rachel. Oh, that's good. Good morning, all and everybody. I'm going to have some fun with coffee and cards this morning. I am very happy to be bringing you a fun card using the beautiful friendship stamps out of, I believe these are in the annual 2020 to 2021 annual catalogue and they are stunning. Um, I absolutely love it and I haven't used it in ages. I really love this one. It's like a hydrangea. But I think we're going to use the rose one at the top. So it's a beautiful stamp set. Good morning, Claire. Um, it's got some lovely things on there. It's got a good birthday sentiment on there. Birthdays are the best days. A very big congratulations and best wishes to you. It's got so very happy to know you and I love our beautiful friendship. Everyone's well. Thanks, Anthony. Good morning. So we're going to be using this stamp set to create a card today. Our coffee and card cards. And I've got a couple of cards for you. I hope I'll not make it too long. Right, sorry, I'm getting a bit of glare on my glasses. <laughs> right, I'm going to turn the camera over. Please comment if you're here. Love to know. Good morning, Heather. I am going to turn the camera around, so hold on to your horses. Here we go. Right. Here we go. Good morning, Jan. Good morning, all. Welcome, everybody. Right, let's... Good morning, Linda. Let's get you all, sorry, it's my hand. Let's get you all in shot a little bit better. Frame it up a little bit better. There we are. All right, so I'll show you one of the cards we'll be making that I played with and I made a sample. So we're gonna be using the peony. Let me see if I can show you the peony papers. No, I think I've taken my annual catalog out. I happen to have them all over the place, but uh, it's not in here at the moment. But I will show you the peony papers. Let's have a look. I have a little bit left of mine. I have used most of them. They're called, it's called prized peony. And they come in this beautiful greys, grey granite, and this petal pink. And they're these beautiful floral designs. And they come in a pack of 12 by 12 double-sided sheets. Good morning, everyone. And this is what I've got left of mine. As you can see, I have used them to death because they're so beautiful. Right. They're great for all sorts of paper projects. They're a good weight. So they're good for uh, covering, if you've got a card box covering for that. Cards and scrapbooking, anything you might like. So they're the ones, and that's all I've got left, so I can't show you the whole pack, but they're stunning papers. And I'll show you one of the cards we're going to be making using this stamp set. It's this one, and it's actually very simple to make. So we're going to have a go at that, making it using this stamp set. And it's a birthday card. Hope you like this idea. Good morning, Helen. I'm so glad you're here. Are you not working today? Got a day off yet? <laughs> Hope so. Right, I've got all my bits and pieces ready. I got them all ready. So let's have them out. I put them in the envelope to keep them all together. Okay, I have also a notebook because I designed it and I had to write down all the measurements so that I could tell you what they are. It's a simple, kind of a simple Z fold card. So it's not difficult to make. I just don't want to cover everything up with my notebook and then lose it because I'm good at that. Right here. So I'll show you why it's a simple card. Let's move all the pieces out of the way. My base of my card 
is the same colour as the designer series paper. It's petal pink. Okay, and I've taken a piece of A4 card and I've scored it at half. So it's 14.9 and scored at 10.5 centimetres and I folded it in half. And that's a normal base for me. That's my normal measurements. It's a good way of making two out of one A4 piece of card. And then what I've done is the front piece, the front piece, I have just scored it at 5.2. I've scored it in half and folded it back like that. And so we have this shape. And that's simply what I've done there. Oh, definitely need a chill day today then, Helen, don't you? If you've been working. Okay, and then I have just made some layers. Literally made layers is what I've done. So I have decided to go with the grey granite. No, actually, I think this is basic grey, which is also in the papers. And I've done a layer which is just half a centimetre smaller for the back. So that is 14.3 by 10. And then the panels, exactly the same, half a centimetre smaller for each of these panels. So that's still 14.3 this way. And this would be, I think I put those in at 4.5 here. I've written that down, let's have a look. Yeah, four and a half by 14.3 centimetres, both of those. And then I've gone down half a centimetre again with my designer series paper. So that makes that 13.8 by, hang on, I've got to check. Yeah, so 13.8 by 9.5 and then 13.8 by 4. Oh, that's a different piece. Oh yeah, no, that's right. I've did a different design on that one. I wanted it different. Confusing myself. Yeah, so these are four centimetres here. And these are 13.8 this way. Anyway, I'll write it all down in the post so that you can see the measurements. You don't have to worry about writing them all down because it's quite explanatory when you see it written. Okay, so they're just slightly smaller each way. So you've got the little borders going around. So that's those pieces. And they can actually be glued down. I'm not going to be doing anything else complicated at all with that. So let's do that. I've got some snail. Let's go for that. So, have you got any plans for your days off, Helen? There's not a lot we can do, is there? I don't think I've been anywhere. I had to pick up a prescription yesterday. Um, and honestly, that's as far as I've been in a week. And the last time I went out was to pick up, before that was to pick up a prescription for a friend also. So, I have, who can't get out. So, I have, um, that's it. That's all I've done in a week, honestly. We have to stay at home, don't we? Right, okay, let's pop this on here. Morning, Joe. Good morning. I love seeing your photos and your video today. We had a lot of squirrels in our garden the other day. I put a load of nuts out on uh, the table in the garden on an old tray. Um, I thought they were for the birds, but we had six squirrels at once. It was like a squirrel playground in the garden. So John, my son John and I sat there one day watching them for ages. They had so much fun. So I refilled it, but they've not been, they've been back one in ones, you know, now and again, but they're not back like they were. I think it might be because the weather's warmed up. Oh, you celebrated your dog Alfie's birthday. I loved your picture of him, Anthony. He's so cute. How oh, these dogs, it's so funny. Honestly, um, they do think it's every day. Our Alfie had a uh, advent calendar at Christmas this year and he had a little dog chocolate one. Oh, speaking of Alfie, he's letting himself in. I do apologise. Um... He, yeah, he had an advent calendar and uh, he would sit every morning. As soon as Jacob came and opened his own advent calendar, the dog would come in every single morning and wait exactly the same time, knowing what was coming next and tapping his foot on the floor. What are they like? I think it might go that way better. I don't think there's any direction to this pattern. Uh, this is called Prize Peony and it's so beautiful. And I don't think there's any direction to it, but you know. There we are. It was, it was dog chocolate. We could buy it from the pet shop and my daughter bought it for him. 
And then he just knew every single day that he was going to get this dog chocolate when Jacob opened his. So, yeah. <laughs> they are silly, these dogs, aren't they? And so what I've done now is I've created some more panels. One is going to be for stamping on. And one is going to go inside the card for writing on. This is my thought process. So I created the panel and we're going to do that one next. And the panel measurements are this this piece is eight centimeters and then it needs to measure the front of the card so that's 10.5 so that's eight by 10.5 and then i made these slightly smaller so this will be 7.5 by 10 and then this one will be seven by 9.5 just to uh bring it down slightly um we're going to stamp on the white one so it's a simple Z fold card, Joe. So you start off with your card, a normal card base, and then you score the front in half at 5.2 and fold it back. And then just add the panels on, going down a little bit to leave a border in the measurements. Right, so I have got this. And I'm going to bring in some of the stamps from the beautiful Friendship stamp set. I'm going to use this big one here. So let's grab that one. And I brought in the Petal Pink stamp as well ink pad I mean I don't know why I've got a spare piece there what was that from I know I've got another card to do maybe it's from that oh this is a bit of a worry <laughs> you know me I'm always losing bits when I'm creating right okay I am going to stamp my rose before I stamp my sentiment but I'm going to stamp it quite near the top to leave room it's quite a small piece hope you'll have a go at this style card if you do do have a go and put it in the uh, group because I love to see what you make isn't that a gorgeous stamp that rose it's so beautiful so I've been playing with the light in my craft room today and we've managed to improve it I'm back where I like to sit got rid of the shadow got the light sorted that's all down to my lovely husband helping me out this morning <laughs> So please let me know how you feel the lighting is and if it's bright enough. I'm going to be getting some extra lights, but we've made a fairly good job of getting rid of the shadows. So I've got some pear pizzazz and I've got one of the little leaf stamps. I'm just going to add a couple of little leaves in it to give a little bit of colour. Uh, I think I'll just bit on there as well there's a couple of leaves in the um stamp set a couple of different type leaves oh the light's okay thanks Helen that makes a big difference when you tell me because I know it's all right okay let's take these ones out of the way and then the same color as the cardstock which is basic gray I've got the ink pad uh, and I have got birthdays are the best days because I'm making a birthday card. Because we need these in our stash, don't we? For all these nice birthdays that are coming up. So I'm going to stamp it on the uh, bottom right and directly over the bottom of my rose. Because the grey is a stronger colour. So it will show up okay. Oh, thank you. Thanks, guys. That's brilliant. We can see. Yay, birthdays are the best days. So we've got that one, that panel done. So that's going to go on there. And then the inside panel, which is all the same size measurements. I'm going to do a bit more stamping with the rose. I'm going to stamp it all over. <laughs> Can I have fun with this now? It's such a pretty stamp. You can mess on a grid paper. End up with a kind of a Kath Kidston look, don't you? Something like that. Just fill it in a bit. That will do. Lovely. And then put some green in. Just a little bit of green. Just to 
add a little bit of colour again. Down there. There we are. Yes, that's a great combination, soft sea foam and smoky slate. I love that colour. I've just got the blends in the soft sea foam. They're gorgeous. I love them. Such a nice colour to pair with that pink. Oh, with that, sorry, with that grey, with the smoky slate. They're both really soft. I am awake. Right, so I've put a very big congratulations and best wishes to you on the block here. Um, I'll grab the grey back out. So this is the inside. They do, don't they? They work really well. They also seem to work with crumb cake and Sahara sand. They're a really nice combination as well. Yeah, you might see this is one of my go-to uh, combinations. And then, of course, I saw the um, the fact that the peony papers are in these colours and I had to use them today. <sighs> And they're beautiful. And they go with this stamp set so well. A very big congratulations and best wishes to you. That is my inside. There's lots of us. There's a little rose that I, I put on the block as well, but I didn't bother to use it. I didn't need it. So I am going to layer them all up now. There we go. Put that on there. And again, I do like my layers. <laughs> Stuck to it. Thanks, Helen. It's a pretty combination, isn't it? Do you know this would make a great you put any sentiment on this card, you could make this into a lovely wedding card or anniversary or engagement or something like that. And this fold is really useful just for making the card a little bit more special. Good morning, Edith. Lovely to have you. Right, here we are. when your hands aren't working. Okay, so we've got the two panels and I'm gonna put put it on the front like this. And what I think I'm going to do is I think my original, I've stuck up on, I don't know if you can see that, I put on dimensionals just to give it a little bit of a stand up, but I don't think you need to. And I think when you're putting in the envelope, there's quite a lot of layers if you're gonna send it in the post. So I think it might be quite thick. So I'm just gonna use glue. now. The key, obviously, is you don't want glue on this part here, otherwise it'll stick the whole thing down. You just want it on this piece here. So on the back, on the first sort of quarter, is where you want some of your glue. Put plenty on there, so you don't want it to come adrift. And then just pop it in the centre, bring it right to the edge. I'll bring it down slightly, there we are. And stick it down. Actually, that was my thought, Anthony, about writing on the card. So you can write on the back, but now, see, this was the card when I made it. And I was like, where am I going to write? Writing on the back just doesn't seem that nice. It could be fine. But then this seems a little bit blank. I'm not, even though it's very pretty, I'm not sure. So what I did was that's why I made this and I put it inside and I'm going to cover it up so you can't see it. And then when you open it, you can write in here. So that was my thought. You can write in the middle still, and then you can't see it when it's like that, but you could see it when it's standing up, and that's fine. I think you can see what people write when the cards are standing up anyway. And if you want to hide what you've written, you could write it on the back. So that was my idea for this inside panel when I was designing the card. So what I need to do is make sure that it matches. So line them up before you glue it down like that. So there we go. Perfect. I like that. So then you can write on here. Now the only thing we're missing, I think, is a little bit of sparkle. 
So I'll get my take your pick tool and add a little bit of bling. And I think I'll just put the bling on the front so it folds shut properly. And I think we'll have one there. We don't want to pick up today. One here. <laughs> Um, you could always put ribbon on it. You could jazz it up any way you like. Watch, I will put a bit on there because it's shutting like that. So that's all right. Okay, let's move those out of the way. So, yes, add another layer of stamping. So I loved this when I made it. And then I was in bed last night. You're going to laugh at me. I don't know when your ideas come to you. And I was like, there's something about this card that I'm not sure about. And I realised I was actually trying to make, but I hadn't realised, a double Z-fold card. So this is a Z-fold. Okay, and a double Z-fold brings it in, down and along. So that's the one we're going to make next. And it's very simply made in the same way. So I'm going to move this one to the side. Actually, just before I do that, you can see the two different colourways with these. They're both the same card but both slightly different with their look because I've used the pink and then I've used the gray and I've just reversed the cardstock. Yeah, I hope you like those, thank you. Let me put those over there and then I'm gonna show you how we make it as double Z fold, which is the same, but different. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna start off with our card base, exactly the same and I've taken the same color, we're using the same papers, it's, uh, Grey granite. I think this is grey granite and this is basic grey, but they're greys. Okay, so I've done the same as I did before. Okay, and I've got my panels. I've got one here. Oh, actually, to make it pop, I put some white. So these were my layers of colour. I've got Whisper White. All the same measurements as I did for the last card. Okay, Whisper White. and whisper white and then I've got the pink but these all match this time okay so I'm going to glue those together as the base base for our double z fold card never made one before and then I realized, realized what I was trying to make um and I thought why reinvent the wheel let's go on uh youtube or pinterest and see if anyone's got the measurements to make the inside part in centimeters so I did a quick look and I could not find one in centimeters I found lots in inches so I just measured it and tried it and it worked <laughs> so I just did it it's not difficult this one so using all the same dimensions for this part Oops, must have a drink of my coffee before it goes cold. I always end up with cold coffee when I'm crafting. I don't know about you guys. Right, here we are. Are you all still with me? Are you bearing up? These papers are beautiful. I will be getting another set, I'm sure, because I'm at the end of these and I have used them so very much. All right, these are in the annual catalogue. So that's the beginning of our card, exactly the same as we made the last one. Now, with the last one, <laughs> I'll show you how I made this. I have a template somewhere, I think. Yeah, here it is. So I wanted to see if it would work before I made it. So here's the base of our card, like we've just made it. Okay. And then all I did was cut a piece of cardstock along the width of an A4 sheet, which is the same size as the card. I'll grab one and show you. So a, pe a card is half an A4 four chic sheet oh I'm glad Joe 
it's half one. So this is the same width. So you see, our card base is the same width, right? And then I took a piece of card, or the other half, and I cut off an eight centimetre strip like this. So that's eight centimetres just along there, just to make a, a piece of it. That would be the right size. And I've mirrored it. So it's like half a card. So I've scored it again at 10.5 in the middle. And then the front panel, I've scored it again at 5.2, exactly the same as our card base. So now we have this piece and this piece. So this is the same. I'll move this white one and you can see our card base. And this is the piece I'm going to put on the top. But I'm going to do it in grey. So I've got my grey piece and I just need to score that. And I can show you that. So we'll score it in half at 10.5, just like a normal card. It just like looks diddy, small. Like that. And then the front piece, we're going to score in half at about 5.2-ish. Ish is very important. <laughs> Uh, that's 10.2, that won't work. 5.1, 5.2, and then ish. I think 5.2 is fine, actually. <laughs> and just fold that. We can move this. We don't need this anymore. All right. So this is like the front of our card, exactly the same. Okay. I've got an itch on my neck. I think it's my sweater. Right, and then I've got some Whisper White Spare as well. Now, this is as far as I got, and I haven't made the rest of it. So this is the bit I need to work out. So if this is the front, then this bit should be 10.5 by 8, yeah? 10.5 by 8, because we made it at 8. So we need a piece of Whisper White that will be 10, 10 by 7.5. So is this big enough? Not quite. Let's grab another bit. Let's take a piece at 7.5 and make it 10. Okay, so that's going to be the layer for stamping that goes on the front of this side. Okay, and then I need these two little panels as well, also. I think, I haven't quite decided what I'm doing with that yet. So they are 5 of 0.2 of course. Five by eight, of course. So this is still eight, isn't it? So let's make that 4.8. Let's see if that fits. And about 4.8 ish, 4.7, 4.8 ish. Okay, let's see how that works. Maybe that I want to put pattern paper in, but I think this will work perfectly. That's all right, Hilary, you're making a double Z fold card. So that's going to go in there. That could have been a bit smaller, but we'll make do and mend. And that's going to go in there the same. Yep, that's going to do. Right, now. The way it sits, actually, I'll do, yeah, the way it sits now, we've got it like that. I'm going to turn it over so it's exactly the same, but I'm going to turn it this way. And when it's glued on, I've got to remember how I made it because I tried it. It's going to go that way. So it's literally just the opposite way up to we had it before. So we had it before and we had it this way. So we're turning it round. Pressing that that way, I'm going to have it that way. And that's the way our card is going to sit. And it's going to sit on there like that. And then you can open it out like that. Do you see? So what we need to do is put our panels on. But I'm going to stamp them first. This is going to be our front panel. I'm going to do it the same as I did before. going to put a pattern on this one for our nice birthday card 
lots of flowers. Okay, that'll be fine. Leave that like that and we'll grab the green out. So how is everyone? Is everyone managing okay in these horrible times? Are you all okay? I hope you are. So that's going to be the front. And I'm going to stamp the birthday greeting on it so I know which is my front. In the basic grey. You're never late, Hilary. You're just on time, my lovely. <laughs> Birthdays are the best best days. Pop it right in the middle. There we go. Birthdays are the best days. Like that. So that's going to go on, on there. And I'm probably just going to stick that on next. Oh, bless you, Joe. I understand. I get days and days like that too. Honestly, especially when you don't go out anywhere or see anyone. It's not easy, is it? Just got to be kind to ourselves, haven't we? And then I'm going to do the same on these bits. I'm going to stamp them. Shall I stamp them together? Could have stamped them as one piece and then cut them in half. That would have been interesting. Doesn't really matter. They're not going to be together anyway. They do. They do tend to be one big blur. I think having a little bit of a routine, enforced routine, is the answer. Joe's very good at that. Um, I'm up every morning to get Jacob enrolled with his online learning. And they all go to registration at 10 to 9 in the morning. So he's all got to be up and showered and dressed and had his breakfast. So that does help a little bit. It gives us a little bit of routine. Definitely. My husband's working from home, so he has a start and end to his day. Uh, I just think we have to do something. Just have a little bit of green in there. Just makes it pop. You still think it's December? Yeah, I know. I I know. I was writing the date the other day and I was like, how can we be right in the middle of January? Literally. I don't know. But I suppose as the time goes by, we're getting closer to being, getting, having normality back, which is nice. Right, I'm going to stick these down. Did anybody have a go at the box card I made? Card in a box. Made a card in a box last week. Would love to know if you had a go. Hi, Julie from North Dakota. That's rather a long way from here. How are you? Lovely of you to join us. There are loads of YouTube tutorials for these in inches. Uh, if you want to have a go. Lots of them. But I couldn't find one in centimetres, so I made one. And this is just going to glue on here, like so. We'll see you Julie again tomorrow. Oh, Jen, I'd love to see if you do it. I would love to. Now, same as last time, we want to put the glue here, not here, otherwise it will stick it flat. So just behind here on this bit. So just a little bit on the ends, sort of, the, sort of like that, maybe the quarter. Decide exactly where you're going to put it. Pop it down. I haven't made one before, so be, I hope it works out. And then we are going to put some on the back of here. Which year is it? What year is it? Well, I hope it's 2020. <laughs> one. 2021. <laughs> oh, so, I don't even know what year it is. See? You proved a point. And it goes flat, almost. Yeah, no, it does. It goes flat. That's brilliant. Oh, I'm excited. I managed to make the card. <laughs> That's a bit bad, isn't it? I hadn't made it, but there is a reason. Because my first card, I realised that this was probably the card I was had in my head that I was trying to make. Let's put some bling on it. We can 
be a bit liberal because we've got lots of space to put it. Put a piece up there. More coffee. Yeah, more coffee. Where's the coffee? I'm going to have a drink. Absolutely. I need the coffee. Thank you. <laughs> mm. And of course, it always tastes better in my Mickey Mouse cup. Excuse me. It's definitely going cold. So I'm going to put one down here as well. And put on as many as you like. You could probably add some ribbon or something else to this card. And I really like that. That's really fun, isn't it? Birthdays are the best days. So I haven't left anywhere to write. <laughs> so you would need to either write in here, over here, or you could definitely write your, your sentence on the back. And if you have a really dark colour like grey, you could put a little white panel on there to do your writing. But I love that. And so I'll show you what our first card looks like. So this is what our first card looks like. I made this one. And, oh, I know, I always forget the coffee and you end up with a nice big cold cup. So this was my first card and I made it, it's a Z fold and I made it with a panel on the front and then I added a panel for writing um, sentiment. Um, and then I realised after, when I was trying to think about it, that was actually probably aiming for a Z fold. I had a go at one of those, which is what we've just made. So... I absolutely love this stamp set. This is the, what's it called? Beautiful Friendship one, I think. Beautiful Friendship stamp set. And it's got this gorgeous, I've done a card using this before for coffee and cards. It's like a hydrangea image. And then I'm not sure what these are, if they're like stocks or could be anything. So this was the original ones. So we've got three cards. <laughs> this was my original... This was the one I've made this morning. And this is the Z fold. I hope you love them. Oh, stitch rectangle dies on the way. They would make beautiful panels for this these cards, Anthony. That is a perfect call. Absolutely. Well, I hope you've enjoyed it. And I hope you all have a go because it's just today. It's just stamps, ink and paper. Perfect for coffee and cards and it's not difficult and you can use what you've got. So if you do have a go, post it in the Ink Stamp Share group. I would love to see it. And I will be back with you on Friday for some more Paper Crafting Live in the evening for Facebook Friday. Where we'll be using some goodies from the new catalogue. And on Sunday, I'll be on over on YouTube for Celebration Sunday. So I'll see you all then. Have a lovely day and the rest of your week. Take care. Thanks for joining me, guys. Let me know if you like it in the comments. Take care. Bye-bye.